And just put the next part on the shaft here on the end of the robot. There's a little set screw there. And you can see below. It's where the how the knob is held on the end of that shaft. This shaft is cut out of tight or uh, stainless steel and it's perfectly in line with the knob. And in order to do the straightener on the knob, you can see it does not have any of the narrow. It's just right around this surface here. It's just smooth. It's got the three little cuts in it. See that shooting behind the robot is that it getting hit. What I did was I took the buffer, which you've seen before in videos, and then I added a timing belt pulley to the shaft and came down to um, a fixture that I bought on eBay. That's a um, I guess it's a live tool, tool holder uh, for a lathe. I put a timing belt pulley on the end of it, and it holds a VR collet, and it, right now it has a cutter in it. And there's a little standoff here. The standoff has um, two ball bearings on it, and the shaft the cutter rides in these ball bearings. So, steady rest is mounted on a lathe um, cross slide, I guess you'd call it. You can kind of see it down there below the steady rest. And I use that to get the, the uh, bearings and the alignment everything just right. The knobs are machined in four operations. The first operation is on the lathe and that shapes the outside of the knob and the inside the bearing surface and the screwdriver blade, the threaded shaft, and The second operation is also on the lathe. And when that first operation is done, the, the piece is parted off of the rod. So the second operation on the lathe finishes the uh, end that you see there. 